back, Waver Comprehensive. This is the 10th week of the WCS News and the 10th week of this first semester. So today we got some news for you guys. On Monday, November 4th, we have Monday Suck. So you get a sucker. Yep. And we have our envelopes to collect healthy money that we'll be having in first period. So if you have an extra change, it's your donation of choice. Then we had career fair yesterday to see your future education. I don't, that go? I don't think a lot of people really did anything. Was it fun at least? The, per no, 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 no. the presentations were kind of boring. Did it really help anybody at all? It might have helped a few if they had no idea. Because there's a lot of colleges. There was around 120 booths. Holy. There with a lot of sciat, a lot of hair and beauty, surprisingly, that I saw. Well, now that that's a really flavored face, too, that helps a lot. Yeah. But most of it's cool, but not <laughs> casual. one. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. But on Tuesday, November 5th, which is today, we have a 15-minute SAS. We will be going to the gym. To celebrate the academic successes from grade 10 and 11 students last year. Oh, honor roll. Honor roll and all that fun stuff, and whoever got the highest grade and all that jazz. Who do you think it is for class? Great. Last year it was Caitlin Dempsey. Probably, yeah. Yeah. You know, the boy. I don't know. Boy or Jack? I don't know. Well, good luck to you, Wins. And Wednesday, November 6th, so that's tomorrow. We have a weed day, which is going on in Saskatoon. If nobody knows what that is, it's when a bunch of students get together and they celebrate making the world a better place, pretty much, supporting different charities. And it's a huge concert and it's a huge big thing. And so 21 students and four teachers will be going to that, so that'll be fun for them. On Thursday, November 7th, we have our grad meeting at 8 a.m. What? Grad meeting. And we have a grad meeting. Is that for everyone? Not graduating? Or is that just for the community that's making grad? If anybody knows what that is, comment below. Please, and tell us. We're I terrible news reporters. <laughs> we'll just be here at 8 a.m. just in case. No. <laughs> no. I'll talk to Emma Granger. If anybody need, has any questions about grad, you can go to Emma Granger, Mr. King, Kennedy Lorette, and so. Ashley Stafford. Yep. And as our team might know too, um, if you have any ideas for grad jackets, go to Emma Granger. Let's do that. And then on Friday, November 8th, is our Remembrance Day Assembly in period two of seven. So after your first class. We will be going to the gym. Nope. Will the auditorium be open? I don't know. And that's also red day, so wear red. Wear your red in remembrance, wear your poppies and all that jazz. And then the senior girls have their regional volleyball tournament in Swift Current. They'll be leaving at whatever time they're supposed to be leaving at. <laughs> Same with the senior boys regional volleyball tournament, which is in Moose Jaw, and they will be leaving at whenever they be that. <laughs> and on Saturday, November 9th, the regional volleyball will continue. Then on Sunday, November 10th, have a sweet Sunday, because we have a long weekend. Yeah, because Monday, November 11th, is Remembrance Day. So go to, the, we have ceremonies downtown and all that. Now we have the Legion Hall, right? Yeah, right across from the Legion they have that statue. Yep, of the Remembrance Day. Statue. As long as nobody spray paints that and sharpens it again. If anybody remembers that. I do. Um, Oh, our boys will be hosting provincials here at WCS next weekend. That's cool. For our senior volleyball boys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, and I think Mr. Lundgren is making a Twitter page for that. I helped him set it up yesterday. Like for this? For, for the boys? boys volleyball. Oh, nice. Yeah, so hopefully he'll keep you guys up to date over Twitter if you cannot go watch. And if you hear a 
hear a weird noise in the morning, that's our new warning bell before our actual bell bell. It's a really weird buzz sound that goes on for a few seconds and that means you have three minutes to get to class. And in the gym area, foods, all the ones that you really need to clean up and you gotta get ready for your next class, it will go off seven minutes before the end of every class. So you know to go and get changed or clean up and all that. Oh, that's actually great for that class. Yeah. But if we're, we're not here at school. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure if that work. But I think that is, that is all, all for our week of our 10th week. And well, see you later. Bye. Guys. Toodles. All right, Jess. <laughs>